morning, babies. Good morning. It is Monday, October the 24th. Amen. Devotion of discipleship. What song are we going to sing this morning? Um. Rejoice. Let's go. Give me a tight beat, Noah. Three, two, go. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, and again I say, rejoice. Bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. To worship Christ the Lord and bless his name, his holy name. Declare that he is good. Oh, that men would praise him. Oh, that men would praise him. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, and again I say, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, and again I say, rejoice. you've done for us and please hope that we'll be able to understand your word and please hope that we'll be able to um, finish this day and work cheerfully and just now pray amen yes we love you lord jesus and yes we thank you for this uh awesome opportunity for devotion and and discipleship uh, please, yes, uh, open up our hearts so that we're able to receive the awesome word and, uh, and wisdom that you have for us. And, and yes, please, uh, but bless the rest of this day in, in advance, uh, dear, dear Jesus. Um, yeah, that, that everything that we do, our words, our actions, our deeds, will, we, will be uh, pleasing unto you. We love you and we thank you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, babies. So... All right, a new week. Praise the Lord. Haven't had devotion since um, Friday. All right, we we'll finished try to finish up strong on Friday. We're gonna try and uh, be be a little bit more consistent. All right, um, a little bit, have a little bit more consistency uh, this week. Okay, 
So, uh, quick review. Anybody that can help me out with a, a brief review. Two to three sentences, please. Yes, Noah. Um, we were talking about <coughs> how on the end of age, mm -hmm. um, people would be taken and um, the disciples asked where your Lord and Jesus said, we'll just gather where there's a dead body. Yes, and, and so towards the end there, you know, we were trying to, you know, figure out, you know, exactly, you know, what, what was that, that phrase and that saying, where, where vultures gather where, where there's a dead body. And went to Johnny Gill, all right, John Gill's uh, exposition, and, you know, that really didn't help out because he said, replace vulture with, with eagle, all right? Eagles gather where there's a, a dead body. And I'm like, okay, that just really confused every, everything. But um, they're both a part of the raptor family. Um, but here, here's the thing. Most of the translations that we read now say Vulture. say vultures. All right. Most of the translations that, that we read right now. And so that was Matthew 24 verse. Uh, let me see here. Verse. What, where was that verse? For then there will be great oppression such as not been seen before. Um, yeah, nursing mothers. We went over that. All right. Um, yes, it was verse 28. All right. For wherever the carcass is, there is where the vultures gather together. All right. But immediately after the oppression of those days, the sun will be darkened. The moon will not give its light. Uh, the stars will fall from the sky. All right. Um, and, and so, look, you already shared there's going to be uh, de desolation. All right. Um, will, will there be, you know, uh, death as well? Uh, obviously, you know, there, there's going to be uh, a, a carcass. All right. Um, but it, is that carcass necessarily... Um, people or or one thing that John Gill had pointed to is that carcass going to be you know uh, you know Jerusalem and, and the surrounding areas it, it, Israel you know that that has fallen okay you know their their government that that, that has fallen um, and and people are going to gather around to, to take advantage of, um, but for instance, if uh, it, it was very, a uh, very bad tragedy, um, what happened with Hurricane Ian down in Southern Florida, okay? So now, we didn't receive a lot of damage up here, praise the Lord. We received a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain, but down in Southern Florida, um, there was a lot of destruction, okay? And did I show you all like a couple of those videos how uh, <coughs> how that hurricane came through and just demolished so many homes, big beautiful homes, luxury hotels, uh, mansions. It just demolished them. Okay, and yes, that there was destruction, that there was desolation, and do you know now there was a lot of people that came down there to try and help. And rebuild, right? But in what looked like was left of, of the carcass um, of what was dead and through the and through the, the rubble, do you know what a lot of other people came down there to do? Alright. They came to loot and to steal and to rob uh, from a lot of those um, wealthy homes that, that were down there. And, and they caught like a lot of people that did not have any good intentions, that they were up to no good. And, and, and yes, um, so that like, so that 
can be like a figure of speech, okay? Uh, so similar to that as well. If you ever scratching on the table, y'all got to stop it, please. All right? Um, so that can be similar to that as well, right? Whereas in, yes, you have, you have a situation where, um, where it is unfortunate, all right? There, there's destruction and, and there's a carcass of th something that should have been built back up and it looks as though it's dead, but people with not the best intentions, like vultures, come to, to take advantage of, of death and destruction. You got me? All right, so um, if, if looking at it from, from that, you know, point of view, that figure of speech, that, that uh, can help as well. Okay, so we're gonna move down to the next part of this chapter and verse 30, all right, Matthew 24, verse 30. All right, <clears throat> the last part where Jesus is talking about. So let me see here. Let me get it here all right, we're going to read verse 30 through 35 in Matthew chapter 24. Who's going to volunteer? Hello. All right, Trey. Every time I ask for a volunteer, twenty-four. Trey, if you don't volunteer, I'm going to call you every time. Okay. False messiahs and false prophets will appear. They will do great signs and miracles. They will try to fool God's chosen people, if possible. See, I have told you ahead of time. So if any anyone tells you he is a long way out in the desert, do not go out there. Or if anyone says he's deep inside the house, do not believe it. Mm -hmm. Keep going through there, verse 35. <laughs> Lightning that comes from the east can be seen in the west. It will be the same when the Son of Man comes. Vultures will gather wherever, wherever there is a dead body. Right after the terrible suffering of those days, the sun will be dark and the moon will not shine. The stars will be will fall from what the sky. What verse are you on right now? 29. Verse 30 mm. through 35. Because Trey started with our... Uh, uh, it's fine. Verse start at verse 30. Where's verse 30? All right, start it. I'm, I'm like, I mean, he's reading something familiar. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to find it. No, no, we started verse 24 earlier, but we went through that. Now start at verse 30 because the verse with the vultures that you just read, that was verse 28. Okay, we done that last week. That's fine. Start at verse 30. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. All that time, all the pe peoples of the earth will mourn. They will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on, on the clouds of heaven. He will come with power and great glory. He will send his angels with a loud trumpet call. He will gather his chosen people all for their Plus. They will break them from one end of the heavens to the other. All right. Through verse 35. Keep going. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know the summer is near. In the same way, when you see all those things happen, you know that the end, end is near. It is at the door what I'm about to tell you. It's true the people will, the people living now will see. What word is he on? It's not the same in mind. Everybody should be following along. 
Certainly. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. All right. Uh, verse 35. Yeah, that was verse 35. Pa apologize. All right, good job. So, <clears throat> I'm going to read. Let me see. No, I need a volunteer for Mark, Noah, Olivia, you have Luke. So Noah turned to Mark chapter 13. Olivia turned to Luke chapter 21. Mark Wait. and Luke. That's not Olivia. I mean, Kaylin, I apologize. Mark chapter 13. Kaylin, Luke chapter 21. All right. <clears throat> Noah, verse 26 through 32. Um, then they will see the human one coming in the clouds with great power and splendor. Then he will send his angel, angels and gather together his chosen people from the four corners of the earth from the end of the earth to the end of heaven. Learn this parable from the fig tree. After its branch becomes tender, and it sprouts new leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, you know that he's here at the door. I assure you that this generation won't pass away till all these things happen. Heaven and earth will not pass away, but our words will certainly not pass away. All right. Thank you very much, Kaylin. Yes, sir. You're in verse, oh, excuse me, you're in chapter 21 of Luke. <clears throat> you're going to read verse 27 through 33, please. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm Verse twenty seven, you got yes, it? At the time they will the time they will see the Son of Man coming in in a cloud with the power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your head because your redemption redemption is strong near. He he told them he told them this girl, look at the fig tree and all these all the trees. But when when they sprout leaves, you can see it all for yourself and know that summer is near. Even so when you see these things happen happening, you know that that the kingdom of God is near. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. We had all three depictions right there. Uh <clears throat> all three is so if you look at my, my laptop where I'm seeing all three are are very similar and of course John does not depict in any of that you know he's going by, by the beat of his own drum all right uh, but let me read verse 30 through 35 so we already saw um, in verse 29 um, and, and after where it says after the car carcass, um, the vultures will gather immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall. Uh, hey, are you really crying or are you faking it? Hmm? I think it's too bright. Oh. He's like trying to shade his eye. Come here. Come here. Come here. He's a fake. Come here. So, uh, where was I? All right. And the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky. The heavenly bodies will be shaken. Okay. So then this is where oh, everybody started at. Uh, verse 30. Then. Everybody say then. 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 So, so guess what? We're gonna, so look, there's a progression. All right. There, there's a progression. And kind of like a, a, a road map. Like, there's so many things that are going to happen 
in order, all right? Those things that were previously shared, um, that, that's going to happen first, okay? And and then, all right, so guess what? The sun, the sun is going to be darkened. The moon will not give us light. The stars are going to fall from the sky. Heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then, everybody say then, then. All, all the peoples of the earth will mourn, all right, when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, all right? So now, going to mourn is like, uh, gee, I, I'm been patiently waiting for Jesus to come back, all right? Uh, notice it says mourn, um, but but we're going to mourn because there's going to be the, like more more tribulation, all right? Or no, I think th like the other people who don't believe are going to mourn for all these um for all these things Ooh. and stuff that happened. Ooh, because guess what? Listen, listen. There, 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 there is a big difference. Okay. Hey, hey. The the remnant and the people that that, that are saved, all right. Um, like when I see Jesus, I'm like, praise God, I'm rejoicing, all right. But but when but when other people see Jesus, it, it, it's kind of like if you're a criminal and you're you know you're been out there doing whatever you want to do on earth and in the streets, and all of a sudden you see a whole bunch of police cars and sirens, are they like, oh, hey, police officer? Because they know that, you know, they're not, or, or are they going to be like, oh, no, like judgment and condemnation is, is coming, all right? And so, um, you know, the, the people right there, and then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming in and the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Because guess what? All of the people that had an opportunity to have a relationship with, with Jesus, all of the people that that said, nope, I don't want no parts of Jesus, and they rejected him, okay? Now, all of a sudden, Jesus is coming. He's coming in hot, all right? Guess what? You had your opportunity to repent. You had your opportunity to, okay, to, to get right with, with God through the Son. You had the opportunity to, to, to declare him as, as your Lord and, and your Savior, right? Yes. yes. Okay? Like, but now the, these people are, are, are mourning. And, and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, north, south, east, and west, from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near, right? Yes. Guess what? Like, we should be able to look out here at nature and determine the the signs of of the seasons. Right now, what season is it? What fall? What? It's fall. Why is it fall? Because all the leaves, leaves are, are falling. Off. Because all the leaves are falling off of the trees. That's all right. Awesome. So you know the summer is near. Verse thirty three. Even so, when you see all these things. You know that it is near, right at the door, okay? Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have, have happened, all right? Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never, somebody say never. 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 All right, so, so guess what? There, there's no exception. To, to the rule that there's no um, that there's no wiggle room like and, and you know how Jesus feels about yes 
his word, all right? Truly, I tell you this, uh, tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Wow. All right, so. Okay, guys? Yes, sir. So, we're going to end right there because we, we got to get off to a great start today. The next passage talks about the day and the hour unknown. Okay? And, and of course, like Noah has, has read the book of Revelation how many times? He's, he's one full time all, all the way through. So, and Noah... No one knows um, that, that, yes, a lot of the developments of, of what Jesus is talking about right here, how, how things develop and play out, it's, it goes into further detail in Revelations, right, Noah? Yes. But the thing is, is that Revelations speaks in such many more um, figures Beautiful. of speech. Yeah. And parables and, and metaphors and yes and, and so like before you read uh, the book of Revelations you really gotta get prayed up okay and pray that the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom and discernment to everything that, that you are reading all right yes sir. all right praise God praise God so then we will go into the day and the hour, and that, that'll finish this chapter out, all right, uh, verse 36 through through 51, and hopefully I, I think we'll be able to get to that tomorrow morning, all right, my dear babies, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to get to that tomorrow morning, Ooh, but uh, Mark leaves out a lot of that, but Luke follows Luke follows along with, with Mark, Matthew. Mark really only has 16 chapters. Matthew yeah, I see. has... <clears throat> Luke has many oh. more chapters. But the crazy thing is that uh, Luke jumps back and forth between chapter 17 and chapter 21 to be in, in parallel with, with Matthew. So it's just, it's just kind of neat how, how, how that works out. But it does work out. That, that's why we're, we're reading it together. All right. You want to pray with us, eh? Yeah. You want to pray with us? Here, you're going to turn around and put, put your hand in, in the middle of the table. Come on. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, put your hand right here, Zay. All right. Dear Lord, we love you and we thank you. We thank you, yes, for, for your awesome word, dear Jesus. We, we thank you for, uh, for, for yes. Uh, you, you're coming back. Uh, I know we're going to read next. No man knoweth the day, nor, nor the hour. But what we are, uh, we are being faithful. We, we are being watchful. Um, yes, uh, we're trying our best to get our, our house in order and to keep our house in, in order. Uh, to get our hearts, um, you know, uh, right, set in the right direction, and, and to keep our hearts uh, meditating on you, dear Jesus, meditating on on your word. Uh, for for yes, you, you are our king. Our, our, uh, you are our Lord, our Savior. You are our High Priest, dear Jesus. And yes, we put all of our our hope, our faith, and, and our trust uh, in, in you. In your precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let the church say.